Hello, and welcome back to Free Orion version 0.4.5, build 2015-09-01. And I here am playing the humans as uh, the Human Imperium uh, with the leader that I've called Johannes Ho, um, which doesn't really matter what you call your leader or what you call your empire because the leader actually doesn't really do anything. I suppose it's just the player name. And what was I? What else was I going to say? Um, hmm. I was thinking of perhaps putting an outpost here, but I don't know if I should. Anyway, I was. Now I'm confused. <laughs> Okay, I was about to say, okay, let me save the name of the game, and I'm Anavoltus, that's what I was about to say. Can't forget to introduce myself for those who have not seen me, or heard of me, or know me in real life, because I know that maybe some of you who watch do. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, this is annoying. This is even more annoying they might settle on a place that I would want to settle. But uh, let's go to the next turn and see how things go. Okay. They've only left their outpost ship. So I'm thinking that instead of uh, sending the outpost ship that I'm building here down to Ohisana, I might instead send it up to Athena Beta and colonize this tiny desert planet in case they want it, but it might also be a good idea to take the radiated. But anyway, we're about to engage the enemy at Ohisana. Let's see how it goes. has survived with all ships intact, although I'm sure that they have been damaged. Let's see which ones have been damaged, this one's been damaged. Okay, they've all been damaged, quite severely in fact, but at least they're intact. So I might have to build another scout ship to see what's there, because I'm not willing to risk my fleet on encountering something potentially dangerous. I should get my outpost ship out. Not this turn? Oh well. Perhaps next turn then. Okay, let's pick this up. Oh, lag. This, this is going to be a beautiful planet. And once my tech increases, I will also be able to larger population on that planet. On the other hand, I, uh, let's go up there, secure that planet, and we'll see how much we can cut them off. My strategy usually is to secure as many planets as possible so that I have room to grow whenever I need to. Okay, let's send these back for repairs. might be a good idea to think about at least starting some uh, outpost ships on Raros Beta. Besides the outpost, okay, they've already placed their outpost. I'm pretty sure that they might be able to already turn this into a colony judging on their species. But, let's see, tiny desert would be good. So we can build two more outpost ships. If they don't go on here, we can just put them somewhere else. So that's fine. There we go. And science should be fine here. But we should also produce an outpost base here as well. Okay, so. 
we're very filled up on all our stuff. We've got a long-term plan. But in 10 turns, we're going to get Planetary Ecology, which is going to be very nice. Because that increases our population cap. Let's get rid of this. here so that as soon as we get planetary ecology we should be able to produce a colony here and it looks like they're already working on producing a colony which is fine fair enough okay my ships all all of them have been fully repaired So now let's lock down our home world so that they can't get rid of us. Anyway, one thing that about this game is that they don't really go into how you would counteract the uh, weightlessness in space because in low gravity environments you can get really ill. Uh, not in the sense that you get an infection, but rather that uh, your muscles weaken, your bones also weaken and you can have eyesight problems. Okay, they're putting a colony ship here. So does that mean that they intend to counteract their own efforts by putting a colony on the colony that they're making? Which would be hilarious. Okay, so Fina Gamma too. looks nice. Gee, this is very nice. I would want this. But there is a very powerful person protecting it. So I'm not willing to risk it yet. Okay. I can take care of this, but there's not too much I'm eager on getting. I'm just looking around to see if there's Good. This would be great. I could put another colony here. And these guys. I'm not going to spread these guys. These guys don't have any positive traits that would make them worthwhile spreading, besides the fact that they can live on tundras. I'd rather just get a tech and then put humans on Tundras. Because humans are much more versatile. The colony ship has arrived. That's good for them, I suppose. just one, but it's still good. It means that we might be up, able to upgrade this to a colony. Let's see. First, let me check suitability. Yes, we can. I've suddenly turned into Obama. Yes, we can. We can build a colony. We can save our economy. Well, Mr. Obama, I'm not entirely sure large portion of the country would agree you on that. And there have been problems. 
let's let's be honest. I don't think anybody could have done perfectly, and there are many problems with many different things. And I'm pretty sure Obama could have done better in some areas, definitely. But anyway, people can say that about anyone, really. Anyone could have done better. Um, so. I am done in this colonization phase. Subterranean habitation. Good. Great, in fact. This is going to really boost our pop. Yes, that's very nice. I'm going to get so much research from this. Outpost ship has been produced. I uh, guess you are up there. Now we're taking that. Should we wait? We should perhaps take this. So they, they can't colonize. Industrial center. This might actually take priority. Stop. There. That, it takes priority. We have to build that. It's such a good building. Um, we don't have it. We get wrecked. And we've only got one planet that does uh, industry at the moment anyway. Speaking of uh, Badoni, let's see, let's see if they have any additional homeworlds. Uh, yes, they do have another homeworld. So somewhere out there in the universe, there exists another Badoni. See if there's any other humans out there. There are two more human cultures in the universe. Interesting. Okay, now we've got some basic defenses count going up. We've got the same tech that they've got. It's they have some additional advantages. Good for them. Okay. Innovation 3 has been taken for us. Let's see what's coming down the pipeline. Active radar. And scanning facility. Yes, we will build a lot of those. Outpost space has been produced. Should be taking these asteroids as well, just in case they're useful. This toxic planet. build a bunch of outpost ships. I don't really see the need to build a military one quite yet. Let's build also another scout. Go to the top. Okay, that's good. Okay, we've got our industrial center done, which means our industry will drastically increase. One important thing to note is that you only have to build one. It connects to all the ones on the supply line. So you'll really only need to build one unless there's enemies in between some of your planets or your planets are being blockaded, in which case it would be good to build others as well. Got a scout. 
right mate. This area looks interesting. Let's send you down here to an empty area. This should be safe for a scout to go to. Active radar. Good. So now that we've got radar, let's build us some scanning facilities. There is a great place for one. Here will also be a good place for a scanning facility. That'll be good for now. I don't really see any reason to put it on another planet unless we're at war, in which case it would be good to have backups. But now we actually have visibility on this planet. And they are really working on defending themselves well. I don't know why. Maybe they're at that shields. That is going to be very problematic when attacking them. Because currently I don't have any weapons that can penetrate shields of this magnitude. In fact, this means that I should focus on getting better weapons in view as we say. Let's get ourselves way up to plasma cannons. That'll do us good. Right? We're about to reach destination. Okay, we got a human colony now, which is nice. And on this human colony, Oh wait, no, it, it still has to finish. It builds and then it consumes itself to actually produce the colony itself. So let's put the outpost on there. Was it here? Yeah, it's here that we want it. Then we want two here. And perhaps another one there. In which case, let's build another one. sort of pinkish purple which is synthesis with, with whom we are at peace at least I believe that to be synthesis medium tundra maybe this is not going to be good for us but it, it'll take two or three more texts until we are able to colonize such a planet there'll be some uh, one colony become big enough to become the metropole for producing other colonies. That's very nice. Enclave has arrived at Athena Alpha. So they're going to put a lot of guys here who can go war in peace. But that's fine. We've got 15 offensive capability in spaceships, and they only have 7, no, no shields whatsoever, so we should be fine if uh, push comes to shove. things are going pretty peaceful, but eventually we're going to have to build ever larger armies in this endless arms race. And this is actually what 
that's concerning me, Ekden. We've got this thing here. We cannot take care of this. Uh, if we go to war with them right now, they'll take all our planets here. And uh, they can't take our planets here, but they'll give it a nice try. That's for sure. County. Let's post peace again. It seems like they do not want to have peace with us. But this could only be secondary. This might only be a secondary uh, thing. So they might not have a planet right here. And it'd be even better if there's a monster in between us, which would prevent them from, or at least discourage them from launching direct attacks on us. Okay, that's nice. We've got some more asteroids. Oh, snap. check on this. Anyway, I think that's enough for one episode. I will see you all next time.